I'm Mike Byer in Nicholasville, where two people are fortunate to be alive after escaping an early morning house fire. Can state lawmakers finally reach a compromise on the budget? With just days left until the end of the legislative session, lawmakers are starting to compromise. A young central Kentucky mother is fighting for her life and local business owners are doing all they can to help her during this precious time. WKYT News starts now with breaking news. Good afternoon from WKYT News. Bill Bryan and Barbara Bailey reporting, and here's what's happening at noon. We have major developments at midday in a 20-year-old cold case that is happening out of Boyle County. That story just coming in to us here at this hour. Uh, that's right. We've learned that in just the last few minutes, federal investigators are serving a search warrant in connection to the disappearance of Anna Lee Manning. She disappeared from the Junction City area 24 years ago. Now, last month, the sheriff's department said they were taking new looks at the case after developing new leads. The Boyle County Sheriff says his department is assisting the FBI in the search. We have a crew on the way to the scene and will bring you the latest on air and on WKYT.com. Keep you updated on that story. Now, we want to switch to Frankfurt. Also, a lot of drama going on there at midday. With just days left until the end of the 2016 General Assembly, some Kentucky lawmakers are questioning whether they'll be able to agree on a state budget before the budget deadline. And they're running out of time to do that. Uh, an agreement has to be reached within two weeks, uh, or a special session of the st state legislature would have to be called, and nobody knows how the public would take to that. WKYT's Mark Barber is joining us now uh, from where House and Senate leaders are clashing over funding for colleges and public pensions. That's our top story at noon. Mark? Governor Matt Bevin says the time for political bluffing is over. He says negotiations need to start now because there are only two days left in the legislative session. The Senate and the House have been deadlocked in a disagreement over the state spending plan for the next two years. The Republican-led Senate wants to keep Bevin's proposed budget cuts while the Democrat-controlled House is trying to scrap them. The House says they are willing to compromise by backing off their position that would take money away from the governor's proposal to put money into the state's retirement fund and the permanent fund. However, the House says they still will not allow their proposed cuts for education. The Senate maintains that the cuts are necessary because the state is saddled with billions in pension debt. As lawmakers continue to butt heads over the cuts, the battle lines for the budget have been drawn around House Speaker Greg Stumbo and the governor. Getting reelected should not be the number one driver behind decisions that are made in this town. They shouldn't be. We were sent here to do the will of the people. We were sent here in this session specifically to pass a budget. Passing a budget is what we should do. You know, if he quit doing silly videos and pick up the telephone and call and try to work something out, it might be more productive. Bevin says he will not give up his veto power and he does not want to call a costly special session. With only two days left until the end of the legislative session, some lawmakers are wondering whether they will come to an agreement on the budget before their April 15th deadline. In Frankfurt, Mark Barber, WKYT. And while GOP leaders have not specified what concessions they are willing to make, the governor says everything is on the table. Well, sipping cocktails could become part of the experience at bourbon distilleries in the Commonwealth. The Kentucky House has passed a bill that would allow distilleries in wet cities or counties to offer up buy-the-drink sales and to offer larger amounts of free samples. The bill had already passed the state Senate, but the House made some changes to it, so it now has to go back to the Senate before it can be sent on to Governor Bevan for his approval. Two people are safe this midday after escaping a house fire in central Kentucky overnight. That fire broke out just before 3 o'clock this morning on Hawthorne Drive near Lone Oak Golf Course in Nicholasville. The flames were so intense that at one point, firefighters had to get out of the home fearing it could collapse. WKYT's Mike Byer has reaction now from neighbors. Now that it's daylight, we're seeing just how much damage this house fire caused. A fire two people were fortunate to escape without being injured. Shortly before 3 a.m., dozens of firefighters were called to a house fire in the 300 block of Hawthorne Drive. Firefighters tell us when they arrived on scene that the home was engulfed in flames. They say the two people living in the home, a woman and her nephew, were already outside when they arrived. 
We've learned from firefighters that the fire started on the right side of the home. Now, they haven't been able to pinpoint exactly where it started, but they say the kitchen is on that side of the house. Now, investigators are trying to figure out how this fire started, a fire so intense that firefighters had to leave the inside of the home and battle it from the outside before they could go back in. Now, we talked with the next door neighbor who says she spoke with the woman who lives in the home. The neighbor describes the moment the woman found out her house was on fire. She was watching a movie, and all of a sudden, her nephew came out of the bedroom, apparently, and said, I think you left the oven on or the stove on, and she went to check, and it, everything was fine. And uh, so the next thing that they knew was that everything was engulfed in, in smoke and flames, and they just ran out as fast as they could and dialed 911. Now, investigators are currently inside trying to figure out what caused this home to go up in flames. In the meantime, Battalion Chief John Schaefer believes this home is a total loss. In Nicholasville, Mike Byer, WKYT. Nicholasville firefighters tell us this is one of the biggest house fires they've worked in years. Really a ferocious fire there in the neighborhood. Well, it is a beautiful day here in the bluegrass with temperatures getting back up into the 60s. It feels kind of warm. Another big rainmaker is on the way, though, as we head into the latter part of the week. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is live in our First Alert Weather Center with details. Yeah, we're sitting in the 50s right now. Look, we're going to be seeing those temperatures stay in the 50s for the most part. A couple of 60s down toward the south. It's 48 right now in Richmond. A lot of blue skies and a nice feel later on this afternoon in the upper 50s. Cool evening in store, but I'm telling you this, we jump big time as we head towards your weekend, or weekend, look, I'm already focused on the weekend, as we head toward your day tomorrow, right around 70 degrees, but then the rain moves in on Thursday. That's our focus, how much rain, because it's a lot. And also, what about those thunderstorms? I'll have that coming up. And we'll see you then. We thank you. A Central Kentucky restaurant is reaching out to help a young mother who was hit very hard with some difficult news. Two weeks ago, 26-year-old Lauren Johnson learned that she has two types of a rare cancer, leaving her just a few months to live. And now, people who know the Georgetown woman are stepping up to make sure Johnson and her family can make the most of the time she has left. WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain has more on how people are showing them support. Giovanni's Pizza here in Georgetown is hoping to raise money today for a former employee who received devastating news last week. A few weeks ago, 26-year-old Lauren Johnson was having what seemed to be random symptoms, including back pain, an ear infection, and bronchitis. Two weeks ago, she rushed to the ER after having trouble breathing. After a few days in the hospital, Lauren was given the heartbreaking diagnosis. The mother of a 20-month-old baby girl was told by doctors she had two rare cancers and was given only three to six months to live. Lauren worked at Giovanni's in Georgetown when it first opened eight years ago, and owner Jesse Justice is helping to raise money so this young mother can spend this precious time with family without any financial worries. She needs help. Giovanni. And if the help that I can give is the money that she needs for her and her family to be comfortable. So her husband can stay at home and take care of her and their beautiful baby girl. And I have the means to do that. And that's what I'll do. That's what we'll do. Melissa calls Lauren one of her GO kids. She says they're like family. Giovanni's will be donating 100% of today's proceeds, including tips, to Lauren's family. In Scott County, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. Michelle, thank you. And Lauren has been married less than a year. She's a social worker who has spent much of her career working with homeless children. If you'd like to help out, you can find a link to her online Fund Me page on WKYT.com. So far, it has raised close to $20,000 in just one day. The achievements of some Kentucky Vietnam veterans are on display today. They were recognized during an event at Camp Nelson National Cemetery. Each Vietnam veteran was presented with a pen during a special ceremony to thank them for their service. Four years ago, President Barack Obama declared March 29th as Vietnam Veterans Day. 
This year marks the 50th anniversary of that war. And that day has been declared locally as well by Lexington Mayor Jim Gray. It's good to have you with us on WKYT. The Visitor Center at the U.S. Capitol is back open this midday after police shot a gunman who allegedly waved a gun at them. We'll have an update on the security presence there in the wake of this latest incident. Also ahead, late, late show host James Corden has paved his own lane with his carpool karaoke routines and looking to speed things up even further. We'll have more on his primetime special next on WKYT. You know, Kentucky weather is what it is. For those of us who've lived here our entire lives, we've just accepted the fact that we're never going to be able to control it. I remember growing up in Sayersville and wondering, what is it about Kentucky that makes our weather so ridiculous? And that passion to understand it has led me to where I am today. While I still can't control it, I sure as heck really understand it. I'm WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. Wake up with a hot McCafe coffee starting at only $1. If you've been injured in an accident, your injuries can last a long time, even a lifetime. Visit ForThePeople.com. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. Hey there, neighbor. What are you uh, working on? The view. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. For a limited time, Mako's lowest priced paint service is on sale for only $2.99. Mako, America's body shop. I know. I know. Want to know too? Come to the I Know Expo and learn from experts about aging well and coping with disabilities. Sunday, April 3rd at the Lexington Center, noon to 5. Admission is free. Do you want to lose weight quickly and safely? Do you want to be healthy for a lifetime? Kim did and lost 238 pounds at Ageless Medical Weight Loss. Betty did and lost 135 pounds. The Ageless program is a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. And hopefully this check will make things a lot easier. It'll cover your medical bills. And we've even given you an allowance to help cover your expenses while your car's getting worked on. All you need to do is sign right here, and we'll take care of everything else. Thank you so much. What's a smiling cheater? Jay Marshall, a smiling cheater is still a cheater. If you want to make sure you get all your money, you better call Hughes and Coleman. Call 800-800-4600. Nominate your favorite teacher today. Go to WKYT.com slash teacher. The new Money Monopoly game is at McDonald's with 100 million food and cash prizes. 100 million prizes. That's more prizes than all the Scottish Terriers in the U.S. <laughs> Yeah, I just won 50 bucks. 100 million prizes. One in four wins. You could be the one. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. A man has been arrested for hijacking an Egypt Air passenger jet en route to Cairo today. Egyptian state television says a lone suspect is responsible for the hijacking, forcing the pilot to fly to Cyprus after claiming to have had a bomb. Dozens of passengers were allowed to leave the plane once it landed on the island. But a handful of passengers and the flight crew were held hostage for hours. There are reports that up to eight Americans were on board that flight. The president of Cyprus says he does not think the hijacking has anything to do with terrorism. Capitol Hill is returning to normal today after a suspect pulled a gun at the U.S. Capitol Visitor Center on Monday. Craig Boswell is on Capitol Hill with more details. The doors to the visitor center reopened Tuesday morning and then security stepped in. Parts of the Capitol were blocked off for a suspicious package. It was a false alarm. All right, folks, we're clear. You can go. Security situations over unattended bags are not new in the nation's capital, but this one happened less than a day after a suspect pulled a gun in the visitor center. Everybody's on heightened alert. Police say 66-year-old Larry Dawson, a pastor from Antioch, Tennessee, pulled a gun and pointed it at officers. He was shot and taken to a hospital where he is in critical but stable condition. This is not the first time Dawson has caused problems on Capitol Hill. He was ordered to stay away after he disrupted a session of Congress in October. In December, the court issued a warrant for Dawson's arrest. He replied with a letter claiming he would no longer let himself be governed by flesh and blood. Dawson had visited the Capitol numerous times in an attempt to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Capitol Hill. 
Dawson has been charged with assault with a deadly weapon and assault on a police officer while armed. He will not face a judge until he is released from the hospital. Presidential candidates on both sides fanning out across Wisconsin today. That is ahead of the state's primary, which is a week from today. Demonstrators in Janesville are protesting Donald Trump's scheduled visit. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker announced his endorsement in the Republican presidential race today. He is in support of Ted Cruz. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton's camp is touting her, quote, insurmountable lead, as her camp puts it, over Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Well, the Late Late Show host, James Corden, is celebrating his one-year anniversary with a primetime special. Corden made his mark singing karaoke in cars with some of the world's biggest stars. And tonight, he'll get behind the wheel with singer and actress Jennifer Lopez. Carpool karaoke has become a viral hit with celebrities like Justin Bieber, Adele, and One Direction bringing more than 800 million views to the show's YouTube account. Gordon said the karaoke matchup that stands out to him the most over the past year was with the legendary Elton John. The Late Late Show Carpool Karaoke Special airs tonight at 10 o'clock right here on WKYT. Should be a great show. Well, the White House is urging Europe to do more to protect itself from terrorists following last week's attacks in Brussels. Coming up at 1230, we'll have the latest from a New York Times report suggesting the attacks were planned more than two years ago. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. It's College Road Trip Week on Wheel. Can you do the alphabet backwards in less than five seconds? I sure can. Z Y X W T S R Q B O N O K J I G F E D C B A. Come for the puzzles and stay for the party next wheel. Wheel of Fortune tonight at seven on WKYT. Hi, checking out the Rav Four. Yep, looking for something fun. Well, with available Sport Tune suspension, you can turn any trip into an awesome adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Errands. Aren't they the best? It's the final days of Toyota's One for Everyone sales event. Get 0.9% financing on the adventurous 2016 RAV4. Or lease one now for just $199 a month. Have fun running those errands. Toyota, let's go places. Well, I hope we have a buyer for the house. Me too. <laughs> what are the neighbors doing here? Bill! Hey! Hey! Come in. I didn't know your home Wi-Fi could stream so many devices at the same time. Dad, it's time we're cable internet. Crazy fast. Dad, you can get Wi-Fi all over this place. Cool. Make your home as connected as possible. Get internet with unlimited data starting at $14.99 per month. And ask about free installation. Call 1-855-1TWC. Accelerate your career plan. Kelly Services is now hiring production associates at Toyota Motor Manufacturing in Georgetown. Great pay and premium benefits package. For details and application, go to kellyservices.us slash TMMK. The all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is changing the automotive industry in Central Kentucky forever. Introducing Lifetime Warranty. It doesn't end after 10 years. It doesn't end after 100,000 miles. And it's available at no extra cost. 100% parts. 100% labor. Zero deductible forever. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Shop the area's largest selection of quality vehicles, all with a lifetime powertrain warranty. Only at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Kentucky Lottery is Keno, the exciting way to have fun with your friends every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. Jeopardy has challengers who can do this. You do a great impression of Donald Duck sneezing. Stand back. <laughs> Don't miss it. Jeopardy, tonight at 7.30 on WKYT. Get WKYT news and weather updates on News Radio 630 WLAP. Now, your zone by zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Lower 50s later on this afternoon. We're going to be in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Some of us down south will actually reach that 60 degree reading, but it's in such a nice looking day. Anywhere you go is extremely nice. It's going to stay that way the rest of the day. Kids coming home from school, you have to go do a few errands here and there before they get home. Uh, it looks good. Take off, enjoy. And I know here in Fayette County, they're actually out of school for spring break, so kids are really enjoying the outside. It is on the cool side. It's not chilly, it's not warm, it's kind of right there in the middle. And today we'll be right there, and average temperatures later on this afternoon 
right there in the upper 50s. Wednesday, let's talk about that. It's a nice day. I mean, we're talking about temperatures upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Not only that, but we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds, so we will stay dry. Then it's Thursday. Thursday, heavy rain will be likely and showers and thunderstorms. Okay, so we're going to bring some thunderstorms on in here with some widespread rain. First part of your day, daylight hours, you're talking about right around an inch of rain. Then we go off into the night. Here comes the line of thunderstorms and watch this set up across the region. This takes you into Friday. So we're looking at anywhere from one to two inches of rain within this system. Now that's some pretty heavy rain as it rolls across the region. The main concern is really going to be later on that night as those storms roll on through. We'll have to watch that. Severe weather threat is extremely low, if, if not zero as of right now. And we'll see if that increases or decreases as we get a little bit closer. But Thursday is the day to watch. Once it moves on out there Friday morning, then we're pretty dry as we head towards your weekend. Weekend looks good, but it's still on the cool side of things. There's only two days throughout the rest of this week that are actually above average. That's going to be tomorrow and Thursday, but Thursday just so happens to be a very soggy day in store. So it's just a cool forecast, but at least it's mainly dry. Only one day, really, that we have rain in the forecast, and that's on Thursday. It's not bad. And uh, what, March showers bring what? <laughs> May flowers. We'll see. <laughs> the truth is, that's, that's the that's day April before we roll into April. Is it April showers? April. Oh, I know. Oh, I was Buzzy. <laughs> and it's hey, almost. <laughs> that one brings May flowers, too. <laughs> right. It, <laughs> it works the same. Just an early start. <laughs> okay. Well, just a, flowers, <laughs> a minor gotcha. little amendment Buzz. to the phrase. Okay. Yeah, right. Sports right. is coming up. Uh, he, you can hear him. He's here. They've Baker. Yet another honor for the Wildcat Tyler Eulis. And the Eagles open their final series like champions. Dave Baker's next for sports. Yes, he is. And let's check stocks as we head to the break this afternoon. The Dow is down. NASDAQ up somewhat. SP 500 off a little. Tonight in primetime. Don't miss James Corden's Carpool Karaoke Special with Jennifer Lopez and more. Tonight at 10 9 Central. We do good cop, black cop. No, it's good cop, Chinese cop who shuts up cop. It's racist when you say it. Pretty funny, pretty funny. I'm the funny one, though. Remember that. My car ended up here because someone was in a hurry and ran a red light. Someone was texting and driving, and their negligence brought me here. I need a strong attorney, someone who knows how to win. Some insurance companies don't want to pay you what you deserve. Your car gets crushed, and so do you. I want someone working hard on my case, and I want it fast. I'm calling Daryl Isaacs. Don't let the insurance companies crush you. I'm attorney Daryl Isaacs, the hammer. I've been helping injured Kentuckians for over 23 years against the insurance companies. Car wreck? Think big. Get the hammer. It's been turned down. Commence operation. Hey! Uh, you need a car. I got to turn down for credit. Turn down for what? For credit. Sorry, earwax. Turn down for what? Credit. Drive time won't turn you down, regardless of credit. Save yourself. Get approved at drive time first. Call, click, or visit. You get a cold. You can't breathe through your nose. Suddenly, you're a mouth breather. A mouth breather. How can anyone sleep like that? Well, just put on a Breathe Right strip and pow. It instantly opens your nose up to 38% more than cold medicine alone. So you can breathe and sleep. Shut your mouth and say goodnight, mouth breathers. Breathe right. We've been slow smoking over oak for more than 45 years. And while sticking to tried and true traditions is kind of our thing, it doesn't hurt to throw something new in the smoker every now and then. Come get some slow smoked chicken wings at Sunnet Barbecue. Order them as an appetizer or as part of a combo with pork, baby back ribs, or both. Starting at $10.99, Sunnet Barbecue, local pitmasters at 68. Grab a pencil. Autobell Hearing Center is seeking 35 people with hearing problems to take part in a 10-day challenge, evaluating a new high-tech hearing device the size of a pencil eraser. Call the number below. Invisibell is the world's first 100% custom invisible digital hearing aid. Hearing consultations will be performed at no charge on all qualified callers. Call the number below and take the 10-day challenge. 
Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. Sean Woods, Moorhead State Eagles have gotten hot at just the right time. Now they're just a win away from the college basketball invitational championship. Last night, first of a three game series against Nevada. Moorhead up two at the half. Second half transition. Dewan Marrero down the lane, a basket in the foul. Eagles up six. About four and a half minutes left. How about Gaines with a shot? He puts his team up by three. And in three and a half minutes left, Xavier Moon knocks down the three. Moorhead back up six. Closing seconds, Nevada down three, trying to tie long range from the sea. And Moorhead takes game one of the best of three. Lionel Gaines, career high 27, 14 rebounds to go with it. Eagles can clinch in game two tomorrow night in Reno, where they had about six inches of snow today. The awards just keep coming in for Kentucky's Tyler Eulis, now finalist for the Wooden Award, as the top, uh, top player in the country. The other four finalists are Malcolm Brogdon of Virginia, Buddy Heald of Oklahoma, North Carolina's Bryce Johnson, and Denzel Valentine of Michigan State. The award will be presented April 8th on ESPN's College Basketball Awards Show. And the women's AP team is out. Michaela Epps is an honorable mention All-America selection. It's the second year in a row Epps has earned that honor. This season, she averaged 17 points, four and a half assists, and almost five rebounds per game. Well, with basketball season now over, Wildcat fans are wondering aloud what to expect of Mark Stoops' football Wildcats this fall, and especially highly touted newcomers like Drake Jackson out of Woodford County. Jackson, a four-star lineman, considered a big part of Kentucky's future, and right now he's adjusting to everything that's going on and the much talked about speed of the game. We have to watch for safeties rolling over the hash and our corner dropping down and the linebacker moving out. And so I know the defensive tackle is going to the other gap. So it's a little bit different and all that. Coach Grant wants the ball off, off fast and you got to make the calls. You got to remember what each term means, the play, because they're all different. Um, but it helps. I've got experience next to me, guys who can help me out with the calls. Um, so right now it's all going pretty smooth. Great player and a really mature young man. Guys, that's a look at sports on your Tuesday. Okay, thank you so much. There's more to come in our next half hour of WKYT News at Noon. The mother of a Lexington native killed in last week's Brussels terror attacks has returned home to Kentucky. I'm Phil Pendleton in Clay County at 1230. Police are still searching for a prisoner after he somehow got out of a transport van here in Clay County. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $43 million, and Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is $116 million.